Hey, what's up everybody? This is DJ Keo. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about drug use in the DJ world. Um, this is kind of a hard talk, a topic to talk about. Uh, I have a, I have friends that have abused drugs and you know, like being a DJ or even a musician, it it's one of those jobs where, you know, you're, uh, you don't keep normal hours like regular people. And I think it's, it's kind of like a, it's a, it's a job that's kind of like isolating, you know? Um, cause to, to be a DJ, like you're in the center of this Island and you're usually by yourself or <laughs> You're around friends, quote unquote friends or fans. But, you know, it's very rarely that if you go on tour a lot or, you know, you're in a club scene or whatever that you're around like genuine people that you can relate to or, you know, can relate to your issues or whatever's going on. Um, it's it's definitely a isolating thing. Like you're really. It, it's most times you're by yourself in all this. And so a reason why I brought this up is uh, I was looking at DJ mag, uh, online and they're talking about Prince and, uh, his toxicology came back for the, they found out they, they think they found the causal of death and it's the drug called fentanyl, but he was using it more so for, I think back pain. Uh, I know he had, he had some kind of chronic issues with his health and I guess most likely was the overdose. I'm not, I don't think there is foul play in this particular instance, but you know, that kind of stuff happens. And the reason, the reason why I, I really wanted to bring this up is that, you know, DJs have a, a lot of issues with mental health and, you know, just, this is stress <laughs> doing this kind of job. It's not, I, I would say it's really not the ideal job for everybody. I don't think everybody's built for the life of, you know, sleeping during the day and waking up late at night and just being in the, in a world of alcohol and partying and drugs and that kind of like, not everybody's built for that. And I'm not necessarily connecting, you know, what happened to Prince to this, but, um, like drug use is a heavy problem for a lot of DJs just coping with that, that lifestyle of, you know, partying. Cause like, <laughs> whether you want to admit it or not, like the two go hand in hand almost. Uh, if you see a lot of, you know, especially some of these, um, uh, magazines that, that deal with like heavy clubs in like Ibiza or, or, you know, like this Europe heavy, the big, big, the super clubs, you know, and there, they, there's a lot of articles about MDMA and, and, uh, different types of synthetic drugs. And just like, cause, because raves and this, these kind of cultures, they, people just tend to flock to it. I don't know why. And I guess, Honestly, it's probably because it's a it's a escape from from regular life. So I think looking back on my personal life, uh, I've never abused drugs or done anything like that. I'm pretty much a choir boy, but it's it's mostly because of me seeing firsthand some people that went down the wrong path, whatever. So like I. You know, even at this level, I, <laughs> I don't even, I barely drink on the job. Like if I'm doing a, a DJ set or whatever, and you know, people are like, yo, the bar is open, order something for a DJ. I'm like, nah, give me a bottle of water. I, the worst thing I drink when I'm doing a set is probably Red Bull. And <laughs> that's about it. Usually I'll eat some food, most likely junk food, which is all equally bad. Um, but you know, I'll, I'll probably eat some food and, and then if I'm doing a, a late set or whatever, I just drink water. Very rarely do I ever drink alcohol when I'm DJing. Some people say they're, they're good with it. Um, me personally, I prefer not to, I don't know. I, I, I look at, you know, I know some people are going to clown me for this, but like, I, I just feel, um, I want all my brain firing in all c- cylinders, you know, Oh, that sounds corny. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm just saying, like I, I personally, I just, I just don't drink at all when I'm, when I'm DJing. I don't knock anybody for doing it, like you know, do you? But for me, I, I just, I'd rather not. So, I, I, I don't know. I think this is kind of interesting, and it's something that generally people don't talk about a lot. Um. It's a huge problem for for huge DJs. Like it, a lot of them abuse drugs. A lot of them have trouble with you know depression and you know just just coping with regular life. Like it's it's a difficult job, and I'm not complaining or anything or or whatever. But you know anybody who's been doing it for a long time, they could tell you like it's just it puts a strain on your body. So. Actually, this year, uh, I actually made a personal note. I was going to cut back from, you know, heavy drinking just in general and, you know, eating garbage food, you know, wings. Every, cause I think it was last year, two years ago, um, like my entire summer, I was just, just eating wings and pints of beer. Like just, that was the mainstay. And, uh, I checked my blood pressure. My blood pressure was out of control. I was like, what the fuck? And, uh, yeah, yeah. I was like, Phew, I gotta do something about this. So like, as a major cutbacks and, you know, I started trying to exercise more and, you know, just even editing videos. Like I try not to, to sit at my desk for a long period of time and, and just, you know, I want, you, you gotta circulate, man. You gotta take care of yourself. <laughs> nobody else is going to take care of you we're in a world of yes men and people willing to give you whatever you want uh so yeah <laughs> just say no i don't know <laughs> i don't know how to end this man it's kind of morbid the like good i don't know this is it's kind of it's a messed up topic but i i think it's something that definitely needs to be said and people definitely need to to take a look at themselves and cause you can't, it, it's impossible to do this type of gig long-term and abuse your body. Like it's just, it's not possible whether it's smoking heavy, doing drugs, just drinking really bad or just eating poorly. Like, you know, long-term short-term you can party 24 hours a day and you know, you're beginning, you're going to be the best DJ ever three years from now. Eh, not so much one year from now. Not so much. Anybody who's been doing this for a long time, you know, longer than three, four years, like professionally, they'll, they'll tell you, yo, you, you got to take care of your body. Like you just, you can't, I think especially to when people make that corner from, you know, partying, whatever to a family man, whether you settle down or you get a girlfriend or whatever, like it's just, you, you start trying to balance things better. And the first thing is your health. So, uh, I, I love to hear what you guys think about this. Um, you know, have you hit a wall yet? Are you trying to take care of yourself more than you used to? <laughs> I really love to hear your, hear your thoughts on this. Um, I've, I've definitely made a change physically about, uh, you know, how I take care of myself and how I'm, I'm looking to survive the next couple of years. <laughs> yeah, that sounds wild. I want to end this now. Anyways, uh, please leave your comments below. Uh, click that like and definitely subscribe. Uh, hit the bell for notifications. And uh, yeah, peace out. Bitches. <laughs>